Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see a concept of basic thermodynamics. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we will see a definition of thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is a science of energy transfer and its effect on physical property of a substance. It is basically upon observation of common experiments which has been formulated into thermodynamic laws. They have a various types of laws. Uh, you can see here. Next we'll see about uh, thermodynamic systems. In thermodynamic systems we have system, boundary and surrounding. In system we can see a quantity of matter or a prescribed region of space. So where in the prescribed region there is causes a process. Now within the process when we give a process and beyond that there might be another process also. So in that process when we are concentrating focusing on that process that imagine line can be bounded. That the, when we give a bounded line that is called as a boundary and after the boundary what we have is a surrounding. I will give you a very simple example of this. Imagine your house. Your house is a system and in your system you will be having a compound wall in your um, in your house in your house. So this compound wall is your boundary and your house is a system and after the boundary wall whatever is there this other house or friend's house or relative house or a field that can that is been considered as a surrounding the same thing is been focused in a thermodynamics i hope this example will be useful for you or it will be easy for you to understand now we will see a types of thermodynamic system and uh, we have uh, three types of system open system closed system isolated system in open system what happens this system it relates with the energy transfer and a mass transfer So open system means the thing is open so both the energy as well as a mass transfer takes place. For closed system what happens mass cannot transfer but only energy transfer takes place. An isolated system means neither energy nor mass transfer can takes place. Now I will give you an example of each system open system. Open system just imagine uh, take, a, take a container okay pour a water onto it and keep it in a stove to so let the water get boil so at maybe when the water got boil what happens that we are giving a energy to give we are putting in a stove it is getting boiled up now from there the amount of water is getting evaporated so that is a mass transfer we are giving heat and mass transfer this is mean by an open system now comes a closed system. Closed system, a very simple example is a pressure cooker. So what we do is, like pressure cooker, we keep something or, or just take an example like you are, want to boil a chicken or mutton in, a, in your pressure cooker or a boiled rice. So what you do is there, like you keep the mass constant because there is no way to escape the mass from the chamber that is a from the pressure cooker but what you do you give heat to make that your food get ready so energy only takes place but there is no transfer of mass now comes the isolated system is a very wonderful example as a term a thermoflux thermoflux is uh, one of the very uh, easy you know that that uh, when you have a fever you pour hot water into it and you can reuse it for another five hours to keep maintain the boiled water intact so this is an example of isolated system now we'll see a property of a system the property of a system are classified in two forms intensive and extensive these properties can be clarified by how they are dependent or independent of mass. So first we will see the example of intensive proper system property. Intensive means when the system doesn't depend on any 
mass or example or independent of mass for example pressure temperature density specific volume cp that is a specific heat with constant pressure and specific heat with constant volume these are the intensive property now i will come for the extensive property which is related to mass or depend on with respect to mass the first comes the volume internal energy entropy and enthalpy in your uh, exam point of view they might ask uh, sets of um, list and they might ask you to pick the right option for intensive property of a thermodynamic system or an extensive property of a thermodynamic system here comes the questions which of the following is an intensive property of a thermodynamic system volume temperature mass energy so here we know already have studied intensive means what when the property it's a independent of mass so among this all we have volume is independent dependent on mass mass energy also energy is also dependent like what we have studied is internal energy so which we don't have is a temperature so let's see the answer is b yeah that is a temperature is an intensive property let's go to a similar question which of the following is an intensive extensive property of a thermodynamic system let's see the options here comes so extensive means what like which depends on mass so here among this all we we know that there's a volume is only one who depends on mass so answer b is a right i hope this video was useful for you guys uh this is a very simple video some of you may get confusion about the small topic but it's also an important topic you better don't skip this topic and uh, thank you for watching if you have further inquiry you can drop me a mail on 9489 224114 ash at gmail.com thank you guys have a nice day